a second force field blocking in these stalkers. And now Sewa again having the advantage of getting to lock these guys in, taking them out. Wow, this is kind of, this is a pretty intense game. Excellent job, guys. We have now six gates, seven gates for Sewa. Uh, but even though his expansion is not quite up and running, he is uh, queued up the probes like crazy. Not really that saturated on his main. I wonder, did he? Did I miss a, a probe drop or something? Now, uh, Dun, Dun, uh, Denrick. Denrick finally taking care of that gas um, that was plopped there by Sewa. Um, neither of these guys really uh, that saturated on their main, and no pro transfer to the natural. Wow, macro really kind of weak on this. I'm actually surprised. Sewa normally a much better macro. Maybe he did transfer a bunch, and that's why he's weak. Over yeah, that's exactly what happened. So he has an even number of probes on each base, and that's what you want. Even if you've got 30 over here and 5 over here, that's very inefficient. Take half of your probes. Whenever you expand, no matter how many probes you have, take half and bring them to your expansion. You will be mining so much more efficiently. Even if you only have... Now, if you only have 10 probes, um, maybe you only take two over, <laughs> but if you only have 10 probes, you need to play a different game. Um, but, you know, if you have... 15 probes, you take 7 over to your expansion. Um, it is more efficient to have half of your probes on each than to do what Denrick is doing and only be mining with 4 over here, but with uh, with 16 over here, it's, it's less efficient and you won't get money as fast. Each player trying to rebuild their forces, say while getting a nice big force. How's their income? Say while with a, a, a decent advantage here, almost 300 200, 300 uh, minerals per minute and about 100 gas with about 8 harvester advantage. Army tab, huge lead for Sewa, as I mentioned. Um, I'm guessing that um, Denrick is trying to get his pro count up. And we have a dark shrine going down for Sewa. That's going to be interesting. Um, it looks like we're in a bit of a a lull action-wise, so I am going to speed it up here in the middle in the mid game, uh, as we see this, as we see Denrick moving out to try and get his uh, third expansion, his gold expansion. Um, always a good idea to plan for that, even if you're not going to throw it down right away. I definitely don't recommend throwing it down just yet, since he doesn't have enough probes at either of his other bases to make it worthwhile at this point. He's just going to have to make them. So unless he uh, gets probed up at his other bases, I would say no, as we see Sewa's huge army moving out here. And we are going to have a battle, so I am going to slow it down. And it looks like with the sizes of the armies here, that this could very well be the deciding, um, the deciding game. Oh, we're going to see perhaps some warp ins over here. Is, are, is the Dark Shrine finished? The Dark Shrine is finished. So we're going to see Dark Templar warped in at the top. Five of them, six, seven. Oh, this forget about it. And they're going to go in and they're going to decimate because even though we have the Robo facility up, there is no. Oh, there's Denrick's uh, observer. But he's not going to be able to see any of these for a while because we are going to have. We are going to have... Come on, Sewa. Move in, baby. Move in. Come on. Now's the time. Get in there. Kill some stuff. Just going to decimate all these probes. And here it is. Now's the big battle. We have force fields from Denrick trying to split up this massive army by Sewa. And Sewa coming back and putting his own force field in, trying to trap some of these larger uh, units. And Denrick, seeing his state and the terrible position that he's in with his base being completely decimated by Dark Templar and being severely outmatched in unit count and food over here, will leave the game. But thank you, Denrick, for that. Those two little letters, that GG. Much appreciated. And thanks to Sewa for the submission. And thanks to your, for your patience for those guys who have submitted games that you have not seen cast yet. 
Um, the, the list is getting long, so please uh, continue to bear with me, continue to have patience, and I will get to every game that is worth casting. Um, you will see it here. And if it's not worth casting, then I'm afraid you won't see it here. Um, and if you don't see your game and you think it was worth casting, then you can write to me at noobcasters at gmail.com and ask and say, Hey, jerk face, why wasn't my game cast? And if I remember, um, or if I have your game still, if I'm going to cast it, I'll let you know. If I'm not going to cast it, I will tell you why I'm not going to cast it. And I will uh, give you tips on what games to submit that might make for better for better casting. I'm not saying I am. I'm definitely not the end all be all of casters. Obviously, um, I do know a good game when I see it. it. Doesn't mean I always cast good games. Sometimes I cast games that aren't great because uh, something cool happens in them, or um, something neat I wanted to uh, to share or a teaching point that was important. Um, but hopefully all the games that we cast are at least somewhat entertaining. And even if they're not, oh, you can just watch the next one. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Keep climbing that ladder. Out.